by looking at the component one should start seeing the engineering behind the components how aesthetic how easy i can hold the camera when i'm taking a video or a photo or when i take a water when i when i see a water bottle how big should be the opening or it is very good for you if you know to use a design tool or a simulation tool this is for a mechanical engineering fresher okay what are the top most important things that they should know before entering the industry understood okay uh yet another good question for me the top five perspectives or five important things a fresher should know it, it need not be a fresher it can even be a mid-career person uh, anybody between zero to three years i think these should be the five priority points a mechanical engineer should know a mechanical fresher should know as you say first thing is by looking at the component one should start seeing the engineering behind the component see i am looking at the camera what do i see out of this camera what engineering can one see minimum is how have they designed this they should see how does it look from the front how does it look from the top how does it look from the sides this is the minimum level of engineering perspective one can have when they see a component but is that all what other things should a person generally see on the part what could be the material going in to develop this particular component when i see this material perspective i i can relate if it is a steel or a plastic when i know what material it is the third thing is i should know how can those materials be produced if it is a steel are they cast are they deep drawn if it is a plastic are they molded are they injection molded or blow molded roto molded so these are the type of production processes what a person should see apart from that what could be the functionality of a component any component you see when i see a camera it should functionally work how aesthetic how easy i can hold the camera when i'm taking a video or a photo or when i take a water when i when i see a water bottle how can it how big should be the opening for the water to flow is it right or is it working properly we may complain a lot of things during our regular life we will see okay this bottle is too wide for me to hold that is an engineering perspective so what could be the right size or diameter of a water bottle when i start drinking my water there is a lot many times where the water flows on my shirt that is because of the bigger diameter of this bulb i could say yeah so that is a wrong decision that is the engineering approach one should have when they start looking at any component so this is the functionality part of it and then it is very 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 needed or it is very good for you if you know to use a design tool or a simulation tool say for example catia is one such tool where you can put in your ideas you see some drawing you can develop the drawing to a 3d model you see some you have some component you simulate that component and understand how does it perform so the five major or important things as a mechanical pressure one should know is engineering behind the components what they see or what they perceive after knowing the engineering behind try to understand the materials behind it when you know the materials try to understand the production processes of those particular materials very importantly the functionality of the component what you see and how do you design them on a tool so tool becomes my fifth point so these are certain important things a mechanical fresher should start knowing to grow faster in their career hope i've answered your question see you in the next video